is Jake Fromm, in your mind, from what you've seen, if Florida defensively gives them some trouble early on, if Florida offensively surprises all of us, how much do you trust Jake Fromm in a huge moment against a rival in a game like this? You know what, right now I do trust him, and I trust him a lot. I, up until the last time he stepped on the field, he hadn't done much of anything, only completed more than 15 passes. Actually, hadn't completed more than 15 passes all year through for 300-plus yards. I saw everything I needed to out of him from a standpoint of pushing the ball downfield. They made a point of developing him and calling plays that could allow him to develop. He, hadn't, he didn't need to in most of the games that he's played, but even in games now, as we're getting closer and closer to the end of the season, they're starting to allow him to develop. Tell me this, Georgia defensively, do they let Florida do anything? Where does Florida have success against that defense? I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I really no. don't know. I, I don't know if Felipe Franks is ready. You're going to have to throw the ball. Georgia's going to, they're going to do a tremendous job stopping the run against Florida, and he's going to have to make plays down the field. And I'm just... I'm not so. I'm sold on Felipe's upside, the things that he brings to the field as far as size, arm talent. I'm not sold on him picking this defense apart. I'm not sold on him being in third and sevens and converting them time after time like you usually are against a Georgia defense. They're going to play discipline. Now, I know Georgia gave up some plays to Missouri. Yeah. That was a different animal. I I mean, do you have a guy? Tyreek Cleveland is not playing. Do you have a guy that's going to win one-on-one -on -one like a Jamon Moore with the size, 50-50 balls? I'm not sure if they can do it, man.